Hello and welcome! Today we are walking the Sequoia Audubon Trail. It's an out and back hike around 2 miles round trip. You'll find parking at one of the Pescadero beach lots and the trailhead is just north of the mouth to the Pescadero Creek. To avoid crossing the highway, there is a pathway that goes right underneath Highway 1. The trail is nestled in the Pescadero Marsh Natural Preserve, a 500-acre coastal marsh that parallels the San Mateo coast by Highway 1. Once you are off the highway, the trail continues along the Pescadero Creek. The Pescadero Marsh serves an important function of water filtration, water storage, and groundwater recharge for the Pescadero and Botano Creeks. The marsh attracts more than 200 species of birds along with numerous mammals and amphibians. The book mentions a bench at the end of the trail with a view of the entire wetlands and the ocean, but we didn't make it to the end due to the overgrowth on the trail. It wasn't until later that I realized the book also recommends long pants and long sleeves, a good reminder that I should probably read the full description of the trail before heading out. Seriously, word for word, this is what it says. Pescadero Marsh might be the tick capital of the world, and it's also one of California's greatest natural greenhouses for poison oak. Thankfully, we both came out tick and poison oak free, but damn. If you ever make it out here, just be sure to break out your long sleeves and long pants. It also probably didn't help that we were doing this in the middle of July. Womp womp. On weekends, the park hosts two-hour tours at 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays, but check their website at coastsidestateparks.org for updated info, especially during COVID. All in all, a pretty mellow hike. If you are a fan of marshland and not afraid of poison oak or ticks, or maybe you're just cruising Highway 1 and need a quick hike to stretch your legs, you should consider checking this hike out. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.